Out here at the ridge today, it is a nice, beautiful summer day. It's gonna be mid 70s today for July. It's great. It's gonna be awesome out here. The course is packed. A lot of people out here, people using the practice facilities. This course is a gem in uh, south or northwest Iowa. Have you checked out this course before? that one already that was a really tough one but we got a par four here we just passed the eighth hole which is kind of cool you're gonna see that one in a second and see why that one's pretty special we got our ball here at the rough on the fairway Let's see if we can get a couple good shots 150. So from the black tips this front nine's 34 63. what's the total distance for this I need a sevens. So a total for all 18, 7,209. So a long course to your big hitter. We move up, we move up a couple boxes to play to our strengths. Short game. Nice approach there, maybe four, six feet away. Six or eight maybe. Got another birdie putt, let's go. Number six here, we've got a par five. We've got water hazard to our left. We just had to hit over. So it makes a challenging tee shot depending on which tee box it picks. Everything kind of goes to our left here, dog legs left on this hole. We've got a protected green up there in front of us with some bunkers. It's a tough one. If you're enjoying the look at the ridge here so far, drop us a like down below for the two birdies so far today. Let's go. Starting off strong. Hit that subscribe if you want to. I'm giving you some good looks at all these courses around here. 
is kind of a unique hole out here. Um, it can play either as a par four or a par three. Um, back here at the back tees, it plays at 291. Um, up at the par three range, you're looking in the 160 to 170 range. Um, as you can see, a pretty straightforward shot. Um, from back here, you're probably gonna wanna hit driver off the tee. Uh, we do have a front bunker that uh, does guard the front of the green. You can also sand on the back. So choose your club accordingly. So walking along one of these back tee boxes. So it's pretty cool and unique about this one. It's gonna make the front nine a par 35 or par 36, depending which tee box you go for. So something cool and unique that we learned today about this hole, we didn't know before. How cool is that? Not often that you see different tee boxes uh, around, uh, around the courses that we play out here. We're gonna go play from the front, play as par three today. See if we can get that elusive hole in one. How cool would that be? about 8,200 people, but I think you're seeing so far that this course is just incredible for a town of this size and really would fit in a bigger metro area. It's, they take pride in their course conditions, you can tell out here. Got a blind tee shot here at hole number 10, uh, into the wind a little bit, but got a good drive right here. Best of the group, got about 110 to the pin, so use a gap wedge, see what we can do. Left, but it curled back. Uh, got about a 10 foot putt actually, so see what we can do here. Holes 11 and 12, I think, are the signature holes on the Ridge Golf Course. Um, they kind of start the back nine. 10's got a nice, cool downhill shot. Uh, this one here is another downhill shot with a big bunch of tiered um, tee boxes here to pick from. We're up a little closer today because we're doing some work on the tee boxes forward of us, but this one got to thread a needle, get down there in that fairway. Water on the left, there's some that fescue on the right. And then from there, you got a, tee, or a second shot up into the green complex, water on the left, um, sand traps on the right. So it's a really tight little shot you gotta make in there. over here it's so pretty with this water behind us Logan's a little left here I missed a little short right on my second shot but it's a safe spot to be just a really pretty backdrop over here Just finished 11, they're on our way to 12. Got a par three over the water you just saw coming up next. It's always been a tough tee shot whenever we play here. So hopefully we can all make it over the water safely. Get on the green, looks like we got a about center middle pen to deal with today. It's a very narrow green too. It's long and all, I think Kerry said it's only eight yards deep. So they don't have a lot of space to hit there, but she also said that they are doing some groundwork to the tee boxes here. So we're actually moved up quite a bit. We're over here on the right side where the forward tees are. So it's gonna be a little bit of an easier shot here today, which is, I'm looking forward to that.
So we're sitting in the fairway of hole 14 here. We've got back-to-back -back par fives on this course. This one's a little downhill, uh, blind tee shot a little bit, but it's just opens up down here. It's really beautiful with the water that we've seen on the uh, 11 and 12 over there. Got the green that goes right back in that direction. It's a really pretty view. Protected by a bunker up front. You can try and go for it in two, but that's a tough one. You might want to lay up. That's what we did. So we just had a cool video drop of the Head PGA Pro, another in the cart series out at the Ridge. So we'll link that up here for you. Go check it out. Awesome conversation about the course and history out here. A little background about her as well. So really cool conversation. Hope you're enjoying that series. We'll give it a watch. Catching up with you from hole 16, fairway. So we're heading back towards the clubhouse from the water and everything that was a little bit further out. So we'll close out with three par fours to end the round. Uh, so hole 16 here is the number 11 handicap on the course. Pretty straight far. Uh, par four here about 365 today. We've got a little protected bunker on the right, so but it's a good hole. Final hole here out at the ridge, hole 18. We've got a par four. I think he's playing 390 today, so drivers for everybody. So we are walking onto the green of 18. The group's got three birdie putts. Made it on the fairway, three of our shots. Let's see how we can do here. We got a long, couple of long leg putts to make, so hopefully we can at least get in for par. Be a nice way to close today's round. All right, feels like 20, 25 feet maybe for birdie. Just to right of the pin. Yeah, I wish I had a key down here, but. Green's been fast today, so hopefully we'll get a good leg at least. Yeah, everything tails this way. Huh. That was Should gonna be a little right to left action. You know, it's different color in the turf. You don't really, can't read it. After our round at the Ridge, we like to go have a little beverage here at the Late Harvest Brewery. We're going to have a pizza and a beer. Catch you guys in the next one.